Many people want to know how climate is going to change over the next decades. What are the consequences of volcanic eruptions or the massive use of fossil fuels? Climate models can calculate scenarios like these and hence provide forecasts for the future. The climate is subject to the known laws of physics, like for example the law of conservation of energy. These laws are formulated as complex mathematical equations. To be able to calculate them, they have to be reformulated for powerful computers. This procedure is called discretization and is one of the main tasks of numerical mathematics. Since early computers weren't as powerful as today, the complex conservation laws could only be calculated by rough approximations. The consequence is that even today, climate models don't conserve energy. Violating laws of conservation while discretizing is something the mathematicians of the research project Energy Transfers in Atmosphere and Ocean are trying to minimize. They especially focus on energetic processes in the oceans. In climate models, the researchers horizontally and vertically split the atmosphere into cubes. For each cube, the discrete equations are used to advance quantities like temperature step by step. However, this structure causes problems, for example for temperature. In the ocean, water that is closer to the surface is warmer, at a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius, for example, while the lower layers are colder with only 15 degrees. Since the numeric model only allows for one temperature value per box, an intermediate mixed value must be assigned. However, that leads to inaccurate results. This problem is called numerical mixing. Because numerical mixing violates the energy balance, researchers of the Collaborative Research Center focus on approaches that minimize numerical mixing in climate models. They use, for example, adaptive grids that move with the flow. These improved climate models allow for more precise predictions and more reliable research of natural and man-made impacts on climate.